tight psoas, said too much. In the 90s, I became aware of a fanciful seating alternative called the Nada Chair. True. It consisted of two loops about a thigh length attached at opposite sides of a back pad. The loops went about one's knees, the back pad behind your sacrum or low back. The pull on the loops by your knees pulled the back pad against you, creating a secure support for your back. All you needed to do was stay balanced. The iliopsoas muscles perform a similar function, although attached at your groin, not at your knees. The part that pulls on your back, like the back pad, but on the inside, we call the psoas muscles. The part that pulls on your pelvis from the inside, we call the iliacus muscles. Together, they share a tendon at your groin, and so we call them the iliopsoas muscles. They span the distance between your groin on each side and your low back and between your groin and your inner pelvis on both sides. They pull on your low back, like the pull on the back pad, only along more of your back as high as your diaphragm. Their pull on your pelvis on both inside surfaces pulls the pelvis top forward adding to the support of your back. In that way, your iliopsoas muscles are like the nada chair. When you are sitting in a chair, your iliopsoas muscles shorten to hold you up, especially if you sit perched on the edge of your chair, as so many do. But those muscles shorten also in those who slouch back in their chairs and hunch forward. Tight hamstrings, a big deal. When your hamstrings get tight, as happens when you get into and work in a high stress state too often and for too long, your hamstrings pull on your sit bones deep to the creases of your buttocks. In the sitting position, tight hamstrings pull your bottom out from under you forward. They cause you to sit too much on your pockets, your tailbone. Tight hamstrings are one reason people slouch back in their chairs. To sit erect under that condition, people with tight hamstrings must tighten their hip joint flexors and so as muscles to counteract the pull of their hamstrings, to bring themselves forward and lift themselves up. Then, the same high-stress state tightens the back muscles as part of a pattern of nervous tension. Eventually, the back muscles tire and the person slumps. Please see the attached article below and the embedded instructional video to free tight hamstrings. So, in closing, if you spend too much time in your chair particularly at attention at a high level of stress with minimal movement in either position that's either perched forward or slouching back, you have successfully followed the formula for creating tight, short iliopsoas muscles. Congratulations. Not only that, but muscles under tension formed this way and maintained by habit are the first to tighten under stress and the last to let go when stress is over. That's one explanation for why people mysteriously tighten up into pain some time after an injury. We become how we live. We get more and more familiar with being certain ways, more and more ready to be those ways more and more set in the muscular tension set of those ways. Our attitudes and our remembered reactions to everything that's happened to us in our lives, it all builds up as our set, as in set in our ways, a pattern of muscular tension as well as a psychological state. Sit for too many hours all the time, your not a chair muscles get set at a shortened length. 
you can never really stand up all the way. If tension accumulates, those muscles may become too tight even when lying down, and you won't be able to sleep on your stomach comfortably. The same thing happens with your hamstrings and your back, only it's your knees and back that get affected until you develop groin pain, deep pelvic pain, a deep belly ache, and possibly sacroiliac pain. Then your massage therapist gets his or her elbow ready. Are you ready? There is an alternative. You can do something to change your postural set, which comes from muscle movement memory, besides trying to have good posture, which doesn't work very well, you may have noticed. If you take these steps, you'll end the pain, be able to stand up and walk comfortably at last. If you don't, you may just stay in the condition you're in, which brought you to this video. See below in the description section for video of exercises and introductions to exercises to change postural set and movement. Do the gentle exercises to address psoas back muscle tension and do the somatic education exercises to free your hamstrings.